hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel like my videos and please check out my channel for other updates so the last update about twist of feet ria angrily stabs prachi in her stomach because of rambro because she doesn't want to divorce rambro but thankfully it turns out to be rambro's imagination so rambro realized that ria would not easily divorce him so he decided to look for an alternative to make ria sign the divorce paper let's continue rambro and prachi were dancing at the party Prachi asks Rambro that what is he hiding from her and says his eyes are saying that he is hiding something. Rambro looks at it and says, you know me well. Prachi says, I know you well. Stanley recalls Rambro's plan to make Rhea drink and sign the divorce papers. He goes to Rhea and offers her drink, but Rhea goes away from there. Grandma comes there and takes the drink and drinks it. A song plays in the background. Rambro and Prachi continues to dance. Mr. Kana says that they are dancing well, as if they are husband and wife. Vikram says they are husband and wife. Prachi says she doesn't like this song. Just then, the song changed. Prachi asks how did it change. Rambro dances with her on the song and the song plays in the background. Then Rhea gets upset and angry. Rambro keeps his hand and Prachi's hand on Prachi's stomach while dancing. Prachi feels for him and gets emotional. Grandma smiles seeing them dancing. Rhea takes the juice glass and throws it on Prachi's sari. She then started scolding the waiter for stopping Rambro and Prachi's dance. Prachi says it is okay and she goes. Rhea thinks that thank you to the waiter for coming, else I wouldn't have stopped Rambro and Prachi from dancing. Rambro and Prachi are in the room. Rambro asks if the napkin is found. Prachi says no. Rambro falls down while searching for the napkin. He finds it. Prachi asks him to give her the dryer. Rambro steps on her sari accidentally. Soda says that they should leave as Rambro doesn't seem to be interested in buying the house anymore. Her daughter-in-law confirms that Rambro had come to buy the house. Soda says if Rambro was interested, then he would have talked to us. She says we should leave. Stanley comes there in the waiter's uniform and asks them not to do that as Rambro is interested in the deal. Stanley says Rambro sent him so that he can take them to a room. Soda asks him to send Stanley. Stanley says he cannot come now. Mr. Kapoor asks Vikram why did he say that Prachi was Rambro's wife. Vikram says Prachi is his wife. But Rhea claims to be his wife. He says we agreed to Prachi as our daughter-in-law. Palavi takes Vikram to his side and asks what is he saying. Vikram asks what did I say. Palavi says why did you say that we regard Prachi as Rambro's wife. Shahana says Prachi is truly Rambro's wife. She goes talking to herself. Aliyah says you are mad and asks where are you going to. Shahana says I don't want to take out my anger on anyone. Aliyah asks Rhea if she is serious about what she said and says today is the seventh day. Rhea says today is the sixth day, and tomorrow is the seventh day, and Prachi will go from here surely. Grandma thinks to ask the landlady if Rambro told her why he wants to buy house for Prachi. Stanley searches for Rambro. Rambro says the sari is not torn. Prachi looks at the torn sari. She says I know that you want to go down and do whatever you want. He asks what is it. She says you have told your business partners that Rhea is your wife. Rambro asks Prachi to go downstairs and tell everyone that she is his wife. Prachi says if I say that, then Rhea would insult her. Rambro asks her to fight back for her respect. Prachi says you are saying this, who insulted me? And says a woman's self-respect is her courage, which you have snatched from me. She calls Rambro an hypocrite. Rambro says to Prachi that you are wrong and says I am asking you to give it back if someone hurt you. He says if you stay silent, then they will think your silence has your weakness. And people makes weak people bend down. Prachi grabs Rambro's collar and asks him if he wants to show that he cares for her. Rambro says to Prachi that I care for you a lot. Prachi says you want to flirt with me. He says why would I flirt with you when I know that you are angry. She says you gave me this sari. I couldn't wear it and you have torn it. Rambro thinks you want to say that I couldn't let you be happy in the marriage. Rambro touches Prachi's face. Prachi asks him to stay away from her. Rambro says he wants to say something. Prachi says she is here for her right. Rambro says a wise man said that we should do the things at the right time and says you can snatch the right from me, but you cannot snatch the right of loving you. Rambro says I love you to Prachi and says I will love you always. My love doesn't depend on your mood. He says my love would increase always and says I have torn your sari and I will repair it. I can stitch it with needle and thread. Prachi says to Rambro that if you have right on me, then what do you have on Rhea? Rhea searches for Rambro. Aliyah asks, what is she searching for? Rhea says she is searching for Rambro. Aliyah says Rambro was dancing with Prachi. 
Rhea says you sprinkle salt and chili on me by telling me that. Aliyah thinks to remind Rhea that she is her aunt and not her friend. Prachi asks if Rambro has no answer. Rambro asks what was the question. She says leave it. You don't have the answer. Rambro asks Prachi to move Rhea from their way and talk about them. Prachi says you know everything. Rambro says if you don't have anything to talk about, then let our silence speak. Rambro says to Prachi that I will stitch your sari. He says I had told you that I learned stitching from grandma. He says putting the thread in the needle is difficult. Prachi says she will put it. Rambro drops the needle and tells Prachi that he will get a new sari for her. He opens her wardrobe and checks for the sari. Prachi says these saris are my regular house sari. Rambro selects a sari for her and asks her to wear it and says you never worn it before. Prachi takes it and goes to the bathroom. She finds the bathroom wet and shouts Rambro. She comes out and asks why is the bathroom wet. Rambro realizes something and says he will be back and asks her to change the sari in the room. He tries to open the door and finds the door locked. Prachi asks him to go as she needs to change. Grandma brings Rhea to the room. Stanley hides seeing them. Palavi comes there and asks why did Grandma bring Rhea here. Grandma says to pack her as she has ruined our lives. She says Rhea has snatched Rambro and Prachi from each other. She tells Palavi that Rhea did not let her become a good mother-in-law and now she has made her a bad mother. Palavi asks Grandma that are you drunk? Stanley thinks that he made her drink unintentionally. Grandma asks Palavi to pack Rhea's bags and send her out. Rhea says I will not go anywhere. Rhea tells Palavi that Rambro is going to propose to her and it will make her wear the ring. Rhea says Rambro will divorce Prachi tomorrow and says that tomorrow their relationship will be over and my relationship will be connected with Rambro. Grandma faints hearing this. Palavi goes to get water. Stanley is still hiding in the cupboard. Palavi goes to get water. Rhea tells unconscious grandma that she is Rambro's everything now and asks her to forget Prachi and accept her as her daughter-in-law. Rambro tells Prachi that the door is locked. Prachi says you trouble me intentionally and that is why I don't like you. Rambro tells himself that Prachi is pregnant and she is having mood swings. Prachi asks Rambro to shut up and just disappear. Rambro asks how should I go? The door is locked. Rambro rushes to the bathroom. Prachi tries to open the door thinking that Rambro lied. Rambro thinks that he should help Prachi to open the door. He asks her. Prachi asks him not to come out. Rambro says that he will read the book on how to undo woman's smooth swings. He hears the noise and gets worried. He comes out and sees Prachi falling down on the door. Prachi gets up and asks him to give his hand to her. Rambro says of course. Prachi asks Rambro that didn't you see me falling down? Rambro says he heard the sound and that is why he came. Prachi argues with Rambro and says I had told you to always love me and never to leave me, not to break my trust and to be a one woman man, but leave it. Rambro holds her and says I trusted you and I did whatever you said. Rambro says to Prachi that I did all what you said, but you never trusted me. Prachi says I asked you not to leave me. Rambro says I never left you. Prachi says I asked you not to break my heart. Rambro says I never wanted to break your heart. It happened due to circumstances. Prachi says to Rambro that you love Rhea and you married her. Rambro says I don't want to tell you, but I will say it. He asks Prachi to come. Prachi says the door is closed. Rambro says we will go through the window. They go outside through the window. Vikram asks, did you see Rambro? His client asks, are you asking? Palavi says, I don't know, but I know with whom Rambro is. Vikram asks, with whom? Palavi says, with whom you call as his wife. Palavi says, a wife is the one who stays in a man's room. Vikram says, he doesn't want to reply to her and says, if someone asks, then I will tell them that Rhea is Palavi's daughter-in-law, but Rambro's wife is Prachi. Alia hears them and thinks to teach Vikram a lesson. Palavi gets upset and goes. Vikram thinks that Rambu should take a good decision. Rambu brings Prachi to the terrace and asks if she remembers their first meeting. She says she remembers and says that he was shirtless in the college dressing room and he was flirting with many girls and also her, but she did not pay attention to him. Rambu asks if Prachi remembers what happened on the rose day and when I proposed to you. Prachi says I remember everything. You just want to pass time. She says I am leaving. A song plays in the background. Rambro asks Prachi to feel the hair, which is touching him and coming to her. Prachi says yes, but I want to hear from you. Rambro says to Prachi that do you remember our first meeting, when my sight was not going off from you, 
when you were drenching in the rain and I was looking at you. He says, that day I saw the girl enjoying every moment and you made me live life. And when I learned to live life, then I love her first. Prachi asks Rambo that, why are you saying this? Rambo says, let me talk. He says, I want to tell you what I wanted to say. Rambo says, when I had dropped you and coming back, I saw a couple getting married and I saw us in them. He says, I used to feel you around me as you are not just part of my life, but you are my whole life. Rambo says to Prachi that I used to love you a lot and I got bad sight on my love by doubting your character. He says, I used to think you as a moon and I stained it. He says, I will fix everything and tells her that he is with her as he wants to leave and he wants to make a fresh start with her. Rambo takes out the ring from his pocket and says, I want to make a new start with you, witnessing this star and the moon. He says, they will say that nobody loved like us and says, we are united by our faith. Now we will never separate. He says, I love you very much. If you love me, then tell me that you want to start a new life with me. Ria says to the unconscious grandma that your age comes between, else you would have so much punishment that your life would end. She says, you have always taken Prachi's side and sidelined me. She says, I will make your life difficult and says she will give her back what she got. Stanley in the cupboard thinks that Ria is a psycho. Ria gets up hearing a sound coming from the cupboard. She picks the bat to eat it. Stanley prays to God to help him. Ria opens the cupboard. Stanley hides his face with the blanket. Ria looks on. Palavi comes there and asks, why are you holding the bat? Ria says she felt as if someone is inside. Palavi says I will make grandma have water first. Ria says grandma is drunk and says that she tried to wake her up. But Stanley thinks that he has to get out from here. He crawls and leaves. Ria and Palavi looks back to see him. Prachi asks Rambro why does he do this with her always and asks if he doesn't have any pity on her. Prachi says, why do you want to claim the relationship which you don't want to fulfill? She says, whenever you say to me that you love me, you go back to Ria. She says, I always come in your talks, but I will not come now. Rambro says to Prachi that I know that you have hurt me a lot. Prachi says you cannot know. Rambro says, even I was hurt, but I never expressed it. He says, I had drowned myself in work. He says, if you have stopped me that night, or if I have stopped you, then the story would have been different. Rambro assures Prachi that he would love her every day till his last day. He says, I am still your backlu, who loves you a lot, and says the first sight used to stalk on you, and now my life. He asks Prachi to give him a chance to start afresh. He says, that night, I came running to you when you were going. I collided with something and I fell down on the road. Rambro says, I regret a lot that night. And says that is why i am not angry on you for hiding a big truth from me he says i know everything that we are pregnant and you are going to become my baby's mother prachi get emotional rambo says you have hidden this from me to punish me he asks if i don't deserve to get this happiness rambo bends down on his knees and says sorry to prachi a song plays in the background prachi sits with rambo holding his hand and they both get emotional even me i'm emotional Thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to like this video share it and please subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you